Isolation Nation. Welcome to the Social Distancing Social Club. I'm Ben Glebe, and we got quite a show in store for you. Our guest comics today are nobody. <laughs> because this is fucking Fan Fridays. We're very excited to have our Friday shows focus on you, the fans of this show. And I'd like to start that by not introducing a fan, but instead one of the other hosts. I don't know why this is backwards. I don't know why what's happening, but I do know that it's time to introduce an esteemed gentleman who is one of the most esteemed gentlemen in in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, uh, uh, Philadelphia. He's one of the top guys. He's in the who's who of Pittsburgh already. Please welcome Steve Hofstetter. Sure. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good to be here. Uh, if you want to support the show, please do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com, of course. Super chat on the YouTube. Do all of those things. Throw in those Facebook stars. <laughs> Hell, give us an overnight tip if you want. We read those the next day. Or if there's no show the next day, the next next day. You understand how it works. Whatever, it's fine. I'm esteemed. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome, speaking of esteemed, Mr. Chris Bowers. Hey, oh, wow. what's up? Uh, generally, Ben, when you say our comics are nobodies, it's Micah and Tim. So I'm glad that... <laughs> <laughs> and generally, when I say Steve is esteemed, it's more like Steve is esteemed. <laughs> Like a hot dog. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, no, yeah, anyway. Uh, Rachel's here. Rach, how you doing? I was going to make a joke about Steve. Hey, Hope. everybody. Speaking hey, of queen. overnight entries and not games and stuff, we did have Ken Machachechek. I still need him in the front row so I know how to pronounce his name. Said a, He said a couple days ago, FYI, a bully in kindergarten once said to me, hey, it's Ken. I'm a hot chick. All I could think of was thank you. So easiest. Oh, he's telling me how to pronounce his name. <laughs> By the way, I read this tip also, and I really enjoyed watching that journey just now. <laughs> Why All right, so to pre -read things? so what's it say at the end there? It says, "Okay, so the easiest way to remember how to say uh, matcha check is to say I'm a hot chick, but say it without, but but cut off the last I. So I'm a hot chick. chick. I'm, I'm a hot chick. I'm a hot chick. chick. I'm a hot what's chick." Ken. Ken, I'm, I'm a hot I'm chick. A hot chick. Just a, keep I'm telling yourself that in the mirror each night, Rachel. Are you saying I'm not a hot chick? I'm a hot chick. I'm a hot chick. I'm a hot chick. By the way, if you uh, if you want a whole bunch of screen time on the show, all you have to do is have a name that is slightly difficult to pronounce. <laughs> or just change your last name to and, whatever. And, and... Rachel, I will fuck it up if you have an even a slightly hard to pronounce name. Right. Can I say? Or Ben. I had to introduce a comic last night because the, there was some messed up things that happened with the host. And um, in true Rachel fashion, I mispronounced the comic's last name. And he corrected me as he got on stage. <laughs> So did a lot of the other audience members. So that was you didn't know how to pronounce Godfrey. I mean, how <laughs> Godfrey? I don't even remember the last name. Ju Ju All... well, who was it? Jukacek. I don't know. I don't also, know in perfect Bowers, Rachel battling for who pronounces things worse. Bowers just said indignantly, "You don't know how to pronounce Godfrey, and it's not Godfrey. It's Godfrey." <laughs> Huh? It's Gottfried. It's Gottfried. Gilbert Gottfried. He told me it was Gottfried. That's what he said. <laughs> Speaking of Gilbert Gottfried, uh, that was the overnight game. Wow. It's almost like I planned this to happen. Uh, he so used to be in jail until he got freed. <laughs> so the, uh, the, the overnight game was, uh, what's a book that you would like to hear an audio book read by Gilbert Gottfried? So that'd be kind of a fun uh, book you like read. So uh, Jack, Jack Dossel had the autobiography of Fran Drescher. That would actually make <laughs> <laughs> I was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens. <laughs> <laughs> My God, both of your impression skills now are just flourishing. I hope I've inspired you. <laughs> Shannon Savage had the monster at the end of the book, which is Gilbert. And... Uh, <laughs> Frank Berman had the Kama Sutra. You put your legs over your head and then <laughs> <laughs> <And> swallow. 
<laughs> and uh, Julia Creedor had uh, the instructions for Ikea furniture. I think that would be the one I would listen to the most. Because there's yeah. a flipping game. Like he's got all the, he's got to pronounce all the Swedish words and then the, use an Allen wrench. It's going to be fun. I like that one a lot. Um, speaking for a moment, before you say today's game, Steve, if, if we could discuss it for a second, since you mentioned Nowhere, we have some very exciting Nowhere Comedy Club news. Um, we have just announced a show. You guys might have seen there was a charity show that sold out almost immediately a, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, but we just went on sale for the return of Bill Bird to Nowhere Comedy Club. He's wow. doing a 10,000 seat arena style show with us for Australia and New Zealand only, but tickets are available right now. You can get them on our website. We are pretty darn excited about it. And uh, that's it. It's Very also cool. kind of fun that like we just celebrated having sold our fifty thousandth ticket, and we were very very proud. And then we set up this Bill Burr show, and we're like, "Then sixty thousand. Sixty thousand. That's huge, guys." Well, he's yeah, Pretty ten thousand awesome. ten thousand seat style arena tour. It is just limited to Australia and New Zealand. Um, so if you live in one of those places, or what does that mean though? Arena, but it's on Zoom, right? Yeah, it, it means that we are allowing that many people in. A um, hundred people uh, on mic and on camera, gotcha. and the other ninety nine hundred are watching. That's amazing. Yeah, very cool. It's gonna be really, really fun. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Awesome. And Al Del Benny is opening. He's a he's a great comedian who lives in Australia. People think he's Australian, but he's not. He speaks very not Australianly. Yeah. <laughs> He I'm, is I'm, I'm very sorry. much from Boston. Anyway, <laughs> also before you introduce the front row, uh, we had some new patrons. So uh, Brianna Bafford is at the uh, Isolation Nation level. Thank you so much, Brianna. What's and uh, Anna Hood jumped up to is it Anna? Yeah, Anna Hood jumped up to the uh, VIP Patreon level. So thanks so much, Anna, for jumping up there. We appreciate that. Also, I, I love we introduce that. The front row, how about we do that. a game? Wait, but also I I uh, I just love how Bowers uh, <laughs> Bowers. Whenever you read stuff on air, he holds it as far as possible from the lens. The lens is here. He's holding it down here. He's like, and another thing I'd love to read. Like, not even a slight cheat. Here, here, here. Like a parrot curled up for sleep. I cannot see, Ben. That's the one thing that got old is my eyes. So if I don't You're hold wearing my... glasses that are meant to no, correct no, your no, vision. No, no, no. They actually make my vision worse for seeing up close, dick. That's how it works. They're not bifocals. They're glasses for my fucking... Anyway, I can't see my phone unless I hold it far away. And when my and I take my glasses off, I can see up close, but then my glasses are off and it looks weirder. So, my yeah, bad. Ben, if you'd ben, like to give me more too, notes on reading, I would appreciate it. That'd I'll be, be honest, great. Ben, I'm not too thrilled with your uh, vision privilege that you have here. <laughs> I can't read in restaurants. I can't read the menu. It's fucking terrible. I have little bifocals I carry in my pocket, but they look embarrassing. Yeah, Bowers can drive with his glasses. He just can't walk with them. It's very dangerous. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's hard to see. You, you can't read up close with your glasses. You have to take them off to read up close. That's what I'm saying. Why don't you get a different pair of glasses? You can't get a different pair? I could get bifocals, but I have to wait till you're 50. I'm only 47. You can't get bifocals till you're 50. It's a law. <laughs> <laughs> I you love the idea say? that you that I, Bowers I tried to get bifocals it. with a fake ID. <laughs> 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 Not 50. Oh, yeah. When's your birthday? What's your sign? Come on. Who was president when you were born? Bifuckle. Bifuckle. Bouncers. I like that. Bifuckles is a whole difference. Bifuckles. <laughs> Yeah, Five right. buckles is Let's when you uh, when you pay for sex with, with a comedian. It's by fuckles. <laughs> Today's game. <laughs> So vaccine rollout is happening. Uh, Joe Biden has announced that uh, every adult in America should be eligible by May 1st, if not earlier. Um, and, uh, and hopefully we'll have a return to normal. Now that said, there are a lot of people still not getting vaccines because they're fucking idiots. So what we'd like from you is we'd like you to be uh, on the advertising committee for the vaccine and create a slogan for vaccines to try to get people to take them. So that's today's game. So for instance, uh, get poked so it's safe to get poked. Um, <laughs> or uh, vaccines, because you finished Netflix. Um, <laughs> or vaccines. Why the fuck do we have to advertise this? Anyway, what you do <laughs> is you take, uh, you, you take the vaccine, and, I mean, you should also, and uh, you create an advertising campaign for it with a slogan. 
Um, and if you want to participate in our game, what you do is you comment on any of our streams, our Twitch, our Twitter, our Facebook, or our YouTube. But if you want yours to count toward the prize at the end of the show, as well as having a much better chance of being read on air, what you do is you comment with a tip, at least $5 of a Super Chat, a Venmo, or a PayPal, any of those things. And as always, if you are in our front row, you get up to three entries for free. That is a fact. Also, I just noticed Bauer's background has a globe. Are you mocking me with that globe, or you actually like globes? You remember this was my gateway globe. I bought this at Target when I was high like three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna watch the show. Enjoyed it as a globe. I've enjoyed it. It's been a good gateway globe. I mean, it doesn't make me come as much as it seems to you, but I, I like it. I only have the one. I yeah, only it's only been twice. So. What? I mean, Ben, do you put them together and roll them at you? How do you? It doesn't matter. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I find everything you're saying offensive. I don't know where you're getting this. I don't fuck globes. If I did, I would probably spin it and then rub my balls on it, but I don't do that. <laughs> Light grays, you know what I mean? I don't do that person. I don't know what you mean. Whatever. Whatever. Wherever your cum lands, that's where you're gonna go visit next. Is that what you do? Uh, oh God! <laughs> wherever, it, wherever, wherever my cum lands is, is where I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> Any come lately? Anyway, introduce the goddamn. Front row. I don't know. That's the, the angle you want to show when we're talking yeah, about that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> is that a globe in your pants? Or are you happy to see? Rachel <laughs> so us for Godfrey right there. I don't know. What <laughs> Lord. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, look at this takeover. Bro, oh my God. <laughs> wow, look at this. You guys are the best. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the show, to our video front row. This is... And which side are you on? I don't know which side I'm on, to be honest with you. Um, we have got... <laughs> Race oh, video. Ray's on Ray's on Team Glebe. <laughs> I love that. Is he? How do you know that? Oh no, it says Ray Civils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Racevilles with us. It's great to have you. We've got we've got Carl joining us. Carl's on Team Glebe. We're assuming we've got another <laughs> Div Hill cousin. We've got, oh, we can tell Judy's not on my team. I'm cut out. I'm like torn off of that background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think she has a bunch of civil servants. <laughs> We've got Aronka civils. <laughs> what do you think the name of the movie is? Civil <laughs> War. Civilis. Civilis. Alice. Erection lasting six hours. Call your doctor. Civilis. Carl again. Social distancing. Social club. We've got Brian Oselvals. We've got Chris Les Syllabus. <laughs> got Telly Savalas joining us. Who loves you, baby? <laughs> We've You're too good at this, Ben. You're too good at this. <laughs> I'm, I'm so behind. I'll be honest. Ben is really so good at purposefully mispronouncing things. <laughs> I'm so behind is also what sometimes Chris's fan says. <laughs> got Abby. Oh, I, I thought you were calling me Chris and making making fun of me for having one fan. I forgot you were talking about LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, I took that out of no, you're trying to keep your fan by not fucking it. <laughs> That's true. Got <laughs> Abby Civilized. <laughs> oh, Jack. Civilized. <laughs> You've got Jack Cy Ellis Dostal. We've got, we've got Bill Villas Thompson. <laughs> and we He's got LJ Mutsonvilles. <laughs> we've got Sean Ehrlich joining us from a replica of the... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> burn is the best part. Okay, I guess Sean's also on Team Syphilis. <laughs> Got Marissa Francis Sovales. Hello, we've got Matthew joining us from a from a, a backdrop full of Glebe 
memorabilia. So we know what team you're on. Well done, Matthew. We've got Civil, Sibyls, Psilocybin, Sybil Shepherd, Amethy Brown. It gets longer and longer. There it is. She's pointing to what team she's on. I love that. Oh, she's there we go. <laughs> I face a high five and flicking off civil. I love that. We've got Tina joining us from Team Glee. Great to have you there. Civil, <laughs> civil Swordlow. Swordlow. Sweet Chariot. Great to have you. We have got more people that Taylor will be doing the thing. We've got Technics Tech. Civilian. Civilian. Civil <laughs> I am legend. We've got coming to us from Colombia. We've got Patrick Twister, sister Civilis Wister. <laughs> we also are joined today in the video front row by the wonderful Hayden, the Civils Master Le Civilis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're fired. <laughs> We've got JP Civils Bear Machine. Welcome from YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've got James Sivton. <laughs> want a ton of sives? That's where you go. We've got Anna Sieve Ills. I'm so sorry to hear about your sieves. <laughs> Not feeling that good. I get it. It happens to the best of us. And we are joined today. Bye. How long can I extend this vowel? <laughs> We've got Civil Shepherd joining us. By the way, I think you just kind of said it right there. Pronounced <laughs> Shepherd. <laughs> wow. It's it's sheep hard. <laughs> oh no. Hard to sheep harder. <laughs> Somebody has been moonlighting at pronunciation camp. That's where, that's where it came from. You fuck sheep hard, and then eventually you were the shepherd. That's how it works. Oh, my God. Oh my God. And we've got Lady Stive Alive as well. <laughs> In a show, I, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> Lady Stive Alive Ding Dong. And is uh, Savilis herself not here today? Oh, she is definitely going to be last. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> oh, we got my best friend in the world, Case Sisi for five foot pahoos. Sisyphus. Sisyphus is perfect. Because she, roll, she rolls that rock up the hill every day and then rolls back down on top of her. I love it. I consider it to be a globe and not a rock, but it's great to have you here, Case. And thank you for being with us. Case Sisyphus. Also... <laughs> Like, what other show in the world can you just be watching and then become the subject of the entire show? <laughs> <laughs> For that. And please, please keep in mind, Case, that if I didn't mispronounce your name, this would never have happened. So, <laughs> Steve, the answer you're looking for is the show Cops. <laughs> <laughs> It is us and cops. We're at any moment he can be part of the show. <laughs> or they repossess people's trucks. I think that one also. Ours is the only live one. Ours. <laughs> Although a reggae theme song would be pretty good for us. I think it's a solid. One. Yeah. Oh, that is the, that is the video front row. Bad puns, bad puns. What you gonna do? <laughs> When they come on you, bad <laughs> oh, no. will turn You're apparently going to visit wherever it lands. <laughs> <laughs> That's the state penitentiary, which I applied to for college accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> so, we had uh, 16 minutes ago, Justin Laranger took the show and said, first? And yes, yes you were first. But who's going to be last? That's what I'm wondering. Who's going to be last? Um, Gus Walsh. Hey. And then it's a bird <laughs> trying to fly, and then it falls and smashes its beak in its face. Uh, right. <laughs> Dan Brown said, General, Ben Gilbert Gottfried could give you a run for your money in prop comedy. He has a masterful use of masking tape. It was 
very funny. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> he he did like five on. different faces with just one thing of masking tape, like one piece. <laughs> It's brilliant. Consider that a personal challenge. Thank you very much. Uh, Ken, By the way, I'm Rachel, what a great way to get Ben to put masking tape on his face. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Withers spoon from that car scene in Cruel Intentions. I'll be doing all kinds of things. You just wait. But you're not at home, so I wonder if uh, Carmel's parents have masking tape around the house for you. I also wonder if Carmel's parents have masking <laughs> tape around the house. <laughs> 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 in the meantime kevin Ken, i'm a hot chick said you got my name right hooray i'm currently working but my girlfriend sarah garcia real also a fan i've seen her name a lot what's up oh, yeah. rushed into the office to show me the tail end of the show i'll be watching the whole thing later thank you i love the show awesome uh, thank you and then there is Marielle. Thanks. Uh, tip the show 50 bucks. Oh, thanks nice. to the SDSC crew for making my Friday. Yay. Thank, thank you, you for having no last name, Marielle. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's pronounced Mary Le. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's the way you pronounce it, but it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pronounced, I think it's pronounced Savalas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we did have Cynthia Cresswell had a late game entry from last episode, which I can't remember what. Oh, yeah, it was changed mm. something for the worse. Strangler things. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> Dana hipped, and she said, Can you, you pronounce uh, her last name? Uh, people call her Degenerate. And I've never had to pronounce her last name, and I'm not a fan of Degenhard. That would be my guess. Degen, yeah. Degenhard. Degenhart? Degenhart is what I would guess. Degen, Degen. Degenhart to Degenharder. Degen. <laughs> and then two more. LaBelle said, Ben, thanks for always being a good sport, buddy. We do it because we love you. Absolutely. Speak for absolutely. yourself. <laughs> What's that? What was that? Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. I appreciate that. I will reply to the love from Chris by saying that means a lot to me, buddy. And and we mean this from the bottom of our hearts. We do fuck it fan Fridays mostly for you. <laughs> we just want to normalize your behavior, buddy, because we care. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, and then last one, Eric Gould. By the way, we uh, just got a tip in from LaBelle. It says, uh, why only Fridays? <laughs> Why only fan Fridays? <laughs> only fans. Thanks. Coming soon, literally. <laughs> and then Eric Gould sent the show 25 bucks. Honoring the SDSC fans and hosts, you helped me get through this crazy year. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. Tuesdays are when he fucks his space heater. That's what we do. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which would be more dangerous, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a space heater would be more dangerous, I think. Than a fan? If yeah, both because cool fans, on. you just get it in there once and then it stops. <laughs> <laughs> what else would be dangerous to fuck? Can you... <laughs> That'd be what, a good else? what else would what else be chat? dangerous yeah. in his house for LaBelle to fuck? That's a fun problem. <laughs> Throw that in the chat. What else should LaBelle fuck in his house? LaBelle, do you have a jacuzzi? <laughs> <laughs> I know, actually, it turns I out... I remember it well, my first Civil War. <laughs> yeah, Ben used to have a jacuzzi, but it's currently getting serviced. <laughs> it's currently getting a service. <laughs> um, I have a question. I have a question for you guys. Um, are we caught up with tips? Yeah. All right. I have a question uh, based, based on the vaccine thing. What is the first thing that you're going to do when you're when you're vaccinated? Like when you have the actual immunity, when it's kicked in everything? What's the thing that you miss the most that you're going to go do? I'm curious to hear that too. Why you, well, I'm also you asking you. You're oh, asking me the, the question? question? Yeah, yeah, I'm asking you guys. Well, I mean, that, what I said in sound check was I'm going to fuck a guy with AIDS, but that was a joke. Uh, probably one. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, I missed that. Anyway, I'm glad um, that you don't bring the, the, the things you just say in sound check on air. That's smart. That's good. I'm saying it got a big laugh and a laugh. It got one laugh. Fuck <laughs> off. I love all I need, Ben. That's our deal, right? Ba anyway. Bowers, Bowers, no, that's what Bowers is going to do as soon as he's vaccinated. Get one laugh. 
Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I think probably, I mean, like, I'm just ready to go to a bar and, like, not, like, meet new people. That's the one thing I haven't met anybody really new in the last year because you can't walk up somebody with a mask and be like, hey, want to be friends? Take down your mask. I mean, it's just, it's terrible, right? So, like, I just miss meeting <laughs> people at bars. I really miss that. So that's the first thing I'm going to do when I'm vaccinated. Yeah. You I think a lot of the population, their first thing now is going to be running away from Bowers trying to meet them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm away, a... I don't want to meet you. That's why I wear these coats. Anybody who's attracted to this coat is going to be my friend. Anybody who thinks it's dumb, I don't want to talk to anyway. So it's a <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a, a real haircut done by someone who's not me. <laughs> that I, I miss that a lot. I will say that that's the one thing watching the show. We were watching some of the shows back this week, just kind of for some, to, just to kind of get, do some research or whatever. And your hair changes more than anything I've ever seen. Like it's amazing. <laughs> like you're like, oh fuck, he's bald today. Oh, it's really long. I like it's <laughs> like your face has changed during this pandemic a bunch of times. Your whole head has done a bunch I've of. I've legitimately it's, not even noticed. So <laughs> I, I didn't until I went back and looked at the old episodes. I'm like, oh shit. Well, know. I did the I did the shaving my head thing. You know, that definitely took a while. And also I did like the full beard and then I did the stupid cop mustache. So like I have done, and I did the weird, the Hulk Bogan one. So like I have- I You've done a lot of weird hair shit over the last- Yeah, I no, have. but I do agree that, that Steve's face does change more than anybody else on the show. I think that's a pretty strong point. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Okay. He's just gone. Oh, he, by You're the way, he, he finally <laughs> used up his. He had one thousand free face filters when he got this. this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that did not work at all. Why did I disappear? I was trying to change my face in rapid succession, and <laughs> not work. I mean, you did change your face in a way. <laughs> you went away. That joke was no good whatsoever. I think I think the first thing I would probably do is is have people over for a little for a little little party, a little gathering at my house. One of my favorite things to do, maybe a poker night, maybe cocktail, definitely cocktails and weed and whatever okay. activities surround it would be nice. I mean, no one needs a poker night more than you. That's for sure. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you're not wrong. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go on an airplane without a mask and go to like a little island somewhere, like Philippines, and get a scooter and just go live in a hut for a period of time. You realize everyone else has you're to be vaccinated. Do what you're doing now, but in the also, Philippines, right? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably gonna be a while. I said, I said for you to do that. That's not just you being vaccinated. That's everyone also. <laughs> Oh, no, she's okay, back. Steve. <laughs> yeah, I just like the idea. Again. She's like, oh, if I'm vaccinated, I'm just going to ignore the <laughs> airplane. Everybody else. No, no, I, I thought the to... point was when this goes back to normal, not like the just That's sheet vaccinated. Thought. Yeah, but you're you gonna... gotta... I'm going to a bar. I'm saying. Your question was, what are you going to do once we're back to normal? We all answer fun party with a bunch of people. Rachel's like, I'm going to travel. You're like, how dare you? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying when you are vaccinated, not when everything is back to normal, because you will probably be vaccinated before it gets back to normal. Hmm. So what I'm, I was saying, how would you- I would argue that until I'm vaccinated, celebrate. it can't get back to normal. Wow. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was offered to be vaccinated a long time ago. I turned it down and I'm just trying to wait my turn. So I, I'm looking forward to it. I would like to be vaccinated very soon, just so I could you know, meet Bowers finally. That would be nice. Do you get offered like a black market vaccination? I got offered pretty much. Now that was heroin, Ben. That was heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get offered a black market vaccination, but I got offered a way to get a vaccination, and I, I said, "No thanks. We're gonna wait. We gotta wait our turn." You know. Yeah. I think if you make out with someone who's at the vaccination, then that works, right? Isn't that how that works? Powers, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, your woman said, "Oh, you didn't meet anybody new." <laughs> and then I'll Chris Capo joined in and said, I met you too. I, I mean, out in the world. I agree. I've met a lot of great people in here. Honestly, this has been awesome. And I'm, I'm friends with all you guys. And that's awesome. But I do miss like just going to a regular bar and just, you know, doing shots with somebody I don't know. Ba Bowers likes to play people roulette. Where basically, like, <laughs> if he gets to know you first and already likes you, that's not as exciting as meeting a random person in the bar who could be awesome or could murder him. It's more fun that way. <laughs> I'm excited for us to take this on the road maybe one time and yeah. then meet everybody in person or a lot of people in person. Yeah. Like, I mean, if we all wanted to meet in Indianapolis May 12th, we would have a fun time. That's all I'm saying. You know. What's May 12th? 
Isn't that Steve's first gig at Helium? And That's you know, the day that I'm going to be the worst at comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go. It's in my hometown. We have you. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to get on stage and I'll be like, where's the word doc with all my material behind? Where's <laughs> Lady? <laughs> 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 At the end of our shows, we, our big closer is, okay, and then picture that joke earlier, but I'm younger, I look like a cartoon kid, okay? <laughs> fruit, it's flying fruit and a pacifier in my mouth. Do you get it? Um, I might be in the East Coast around that same time. Maybe I will pop by for the show. That would be fun. Here's what I'm thinking, Steve. You get printed at a print shop a full size of that dining room you used every time you pretended you had a fancy dining room, and you put that behind you every time you go to the show. <laughs> um, for every every stage show for the whole the whole year. You should do virtual backgrounds the rest of your career. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, I think you should do face filters. I'm I'm considering. I've, I've been I've been staying up nights trying to figure out how technically to do filters at my shows. I'm like, I wonder if I have a huge screen TV that I can pull, roll out in front of me. I can step behind it and do filters and then step out when I want to. I'm yeah. considering all these things or and I'll just have, abandon that. You have all those extra laptops when you do that graduation thing. Just cut one of them into a circle the size of your face, put it on a stick and just have your computer over your face with the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Did you used to work at Radio Shack? Uh, <laughs> your college set of I couldn't get to Radio Shack. I worked at one of their lesser competitors. You know, one of the like the knockoff Radio Shacks. That's where I worked. He worked at a Radio talk, Hut, huh? actually. Talk, huh? <laughs> All right, let's move this train along. I've got a lot of general. Kaczynski Shack. That's where I. That's where I worked. Okay. <laughs> uh, Technic said, "Shout out to Rob who couldn't make it today, but generously allowed me to civilian myself in the front row." Shout out to Cass for being an SDSC fave. The Bunce says, Bowers got my name right. I love you even more. So it wasn't, it, it wasn't uh, Degenhart with a vengeance? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, Zara said, just DM'd LaBelle, and all I got back was, new fan, who dis? <laughs> 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 You know that moment when you fuck a new fan where you're not sure she's going to cut your dick off or not and you're a little nervous? Ah, oh, that's a great feeling. And then it gets comfortable and you go, I'm, I'm about to go to speed two. Are you cool with that? <laughs> and she's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say exhaust was okay. <laughs> and she's like, I don't even like speed two. That was, they should have stopped after the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> We had. <laughs> he disappeared again. Wait, when it's on, when it's on, uh, when it's on exhaust, then it's rear window. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's the best way to hit your cock. What? Oh. Nope. Rear oh, window is a Hitchcock uh, movie. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> By the way, Ben, why do you keep disappearing? What's happening? Well, that was just after a bad joke. I decided to bounce on that one. <laughs> I'm trying to get my green screen and my and my filters to work at the same time, and it's not working. I don't understand what's happening. It finally has oh. had enough of your shit. <laughs> well, that's analog, Ben. I don't have to have anything. I'm just right in front of this shit I put on the walls myself. That's we saw good. your reading style. It's clear. I love the idea uh -huh. that, like, Barris finishes and just two guys in a warehouse just wheel that whole wall away from him. <laughs> yeah, it's on one of those it's on one of those murder boards they have in police stations you just wheel it out like a chalkboard yeah <laughs> I have lot. more alright go ahead Fashion Lady sent the show 25 bucks and said I miss you guys stimulus check just cleared Steve I'm purposely saving some to jump on that Patreon bag wagon uh, for a roast and to see if I can stump you all on two truths and a lie I love well, that. thank you very much, and it's what I've been saying from the beginning, that America needs a stimulus to join our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was cool that Biden mentioned our Patreon by name today in his speech. That was really cool. That was pretty cool, yeah. He was like, we need to get Americans back to work. We need to get Americans to the isolation nation level. Yeah. It's very I mean, important. Called Patreons instead of patrons, so Ben had notes. But other than that, it was a great time. <laughs> Biden's up there being like, is it backslash or forward slash? <laughs> Let's get a fan up here. All right. 
Elizabeth has some two truths and a lie for us. Elizabeth, right. what you awesome. got? Let's go. All right. Um, okay. So let's see. In college, I majored in folklore. Folklore? Excellent Folk career potential. In folklore? folklore? Like elves and shit? Folklore. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, in 2019, I got my pilot's license. Okay. Cool. And adult humans have 206 bones, but I have 207. Who is this? Oh, shit. All right. Um, Carmel is 205. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we just wants one less. That's all. Carmel just <laughs> shouted, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> That I'm not boning you enough, sweetheart, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder, Ben is currently at his at, at her parents' house, but right? But again. <laughs> her parents love all these jokes about how he's not having sex with her. That makes their whole world. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> best joke awesome. I could make they about your daughter here. is how she doesn't fuck you. That's the best dad-daughter joke ever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I so. Think so there, there's the folklore, there's the pilot's license, and then she got more bones in her body. That's really cool. I hope that's true. So I think it's the pilot license. See, I think she looks, I think she's a pilot. I think she looks like she has extra bones in her, but I do not <laughs> think, I do not think folklore is a real, is a real uh, major. I think you make that up yourself and pretended it was a thing, but that wasn't a real major at college because you didn't go to wizard college. So I'm thinking the first one is a, is a lie. Steve, what's your, what's your favorite? I think folklore is true. I don't think someone would make that up. I think, I think the only person who would make that up would be someone who majored in folklore. So it's kind of a, uh, I'm going to say, and the, and the, the, the extra bone thing is a possibility. I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the pilot's license is the lie. That's my thought. Pilot's license is the lie. Um, yeah, the other two seem, seem, seem real and they seem hard to make up. All right. All right, you got me. I do not have my my pilot's license, although I did learn to fly a plane and flew a couple just to get over my fear of flying. Good for you. Whoa, you're, hold on, that is. That's cool. That is incredible. Like that to get over your fear of flying, you were like, I'm scared when a professional flies this plane, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> did, did, you, did your face look like Steve's face when you rode that bird scooter? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you didn't I, see, it was. <laughs> I mean, Bowers, don't give me shit. That was going at two miles an hour. That was very, very. You, read it for, you rode it for almost half a block before you went. I can't do this. I can't do this. I've never rode a bike. I've never rode a bike. I can't. That do this. is the <laughs> nicest exaggeration anyone has ever. It was way less than half a block. <laughs> Pretty quick. He I was, was trying quick. to coach you in like real, like just balance your body weight, and then you kind of kick it with one leg. We're late for this protest, and you're like, "Go without me, I'll catch up." <laughs> no, we hadn't found a protest yet. That's a whole other story we'll tell someday. Uh, Elizabeth, where's this extra bone you got? That's interesting to me. I have an extra vertebrae. Mm. Wow. Can you like do weird shit? <laughs> <laughs> does that help? Does that, does that help you stand up for yourself more since you have extra backbone? <laughs> this or <laughs> the idea that like someone's like oh come on do you have a backbone or not she's like actually uh, i would like to respectfully say baby got back thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, uh, i love the that rachel... back on that girl no the actual back it has an extra bird right it's pretty awesome <laughs> I love that Rachel is like all excited that you could that you have an extra vertebrae. Meanwhile, I bend my finger weird and she's freaked the fuck out. I don't think that's fair. <laughs> I don't see an extra vertebrae. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, all right, fine. Unless she can pop it out and then it's like, look at that. <laughs> I will say, by the way, Rachel, that uh, so uh, so uh, Matt, who works at Steel City, uh, sometimes he'll bring his kid with him, and his kid is nine. And today he like, you know, made some kind of joke about like his like a hand looking weird. And I was like, oh, want to see what I can do? And I did that. And he fucking loved it because nine year olds have a great sense of humor. So <laughs> he thought it was Who's awesome. The girl you date. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Actually, it seems like it would come in handy. I think it's the secret power. I think it's the secret power, right? That's the, I think that's the question. 
that's the answer to the question we don't have. It's that it's that move, man. I think that's it's the, it's the power up. It's the fucking it's the it's the it's the Easter egg that you don't find in the video game. The, look, we you know. we all play the cards that were dealt or the hand that were dealt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thanks, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry you had to be on screen that whole time for that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't, I, I got to hear about folklore. Would you actually major in folklore? Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's a folklore and ethnomusicology at Indiana University in Bloomington. Oh, okay. That seems like an IU degree. Um, <laughs> oh, says the man from Ball State. I went to Ball State, State so I, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a jealousy thing. I'm ripping on IU, so you know, whatever. It's a, it, I didn't go to Purdue. I'm not one of those dicks. But uh... <laughs> by the way, Bowers, two things. One, that is so much regional knowledge. Like it seemed even weird for me, but also I got all three of those jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so did you have to like? Any f weird shit? Did you have to like, make a sword or anything cool? Like, what did you have to do in this major that was anything neat? Um, it was, well, really all kinds of stuff. Like, I wrote some papers on, like, ancient Chinese divination, uh, children's, like, uh, like folk songs, I guess, um, Egyptian sure. fairy tales. And it, it's the full degree is uh, folklore and ethnomusicology. And hip-hop was a really big topic that people were studying so people for a while called it folklore and hip-hop ecology <laughs> hip -hop, hip -hop. Uh, i listened to a lot of hip-hop and uh got college credit for it so. <laughs> like, well, i do agree i've ever heard of that's awesome you i do like the idea that it's, it's basically a literature and music degree and bowers is like what about the swords <laughs> well, I, went, I said elves and shit, and she said, yeah. Once she said it was like historically folklore, well, that's different than I thought she was reading Lord of the Rings and doing a thesis. <laughs> you thought she was doing a, th a thesis. I, I, thought, I thought that it was a 20-sided die determined your grade. That's all I'm saying. I By the way, I know I stumbled over that joke, but goddamn, that was one of the best jokes I've ever told on this damn show. I said, you thought she was doing a, a thesis. <laughs> and, then, and no one gave me anything for it. I didn't hear it. I was sorry. Right. I a very good uh, one thing before Elizabeth gets off screen. So the YouTube chat was wondering, so is that in your tailbone, that extra vertebrae? Does that mean um, it's just above my my uh, tailbone. So it's most people have five lumbar vertebrae, but I have an L6. And I carry a wallet size of my x-ray. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna make oh, no, the virtual background's killing it. Oh, there you go. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, 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 wait. We just got demonetized for nudity. <laughs> <laughs> when Abby sees a picture like that, there's something stuck up there. So I'm glad there wasn't. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, it's 345. So I have uh, got some more generals and we can do Lady Auction. LJ Mutt said, how can we get Taylor to do another stand-up set? I enjoyed the first one. We're all due for another. Taylor? Ooh, Taylor. <laughs> got another seven minutes in you? I have that cop joke and we're done. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna uh, play that part of the show. <laughs> just like some comics, like here's my greatest hits. <laughs> I brought a clip show for my ass. Uh, uh, it's oh, it's greatest up. hit, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. <laughs> you don't see the good uh, Wendy. Movie. <laughs> That's true. Wendy tip for Rachel because she's out of fucks to give. I did see Wendy dying earlier. <laughs> it is. I I will say you've been particularly sassy on today's episode, and I've been enjoying it a great deal. <laughs> Uh, Dana said, I wasn't going to say anything, but damn, all this talk. I had my first vaccine today. The benefit of being sick and over 60. See, the glass is half full. Nice. Congratulations. Um, Tam said, it is common for some folks to have an extra bone. Typically, it's the lumbar vertebrae. I am one of those people. Tam, too. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> shit. Bunch of extra and, bones on this show. Nice. And then, <laughs> it all saw. evens out with Ben. <laughs> some extra bones some non-bones i get what you're doing yeah that's the bone broth it's all a theme it's a bone show 
Uh, and then Cindy Wood tipped the show 25 bucks. I want a local bar to have vaccinated people allowed only rules. That's interesting. Yeah, that would actually be, I think that there is room uh, and, and there will be for probably a period of like two months or so for bars to have vaccination night where like people, if you show your card, you can get in and just live I, like normal. I think ultimately that's how we're gonna get people to take the vaccine. The, the people who don't wanna take the vaccine, you're, just gonna, you're gonna make rules where if you're not vaccinated, you can't come into certain places and they're gonna make those choices on their own where you don't have to force them to do it. It's like, if you don't wanna come to bars, that's cool, sit at your house. But if you wanna come to bars, you gotta be vaccinated. I think that's really gonna encourage people to get vaccinated. You wanna get all of them in one shot? <laughs> SEC, <laughs> SEC football games, that's yeah. it. No, done. Yeah. You cannot see an SEC football game without the vaccination. Every anti-vax person will get it. But when you think about it, like think about this, when they outlawed smoking in bars, they thought that would kill bars and it essentially killed smoking. People are going to drink and go out. Whatever they need to do to do it, they will. So people literally stop smoking so they go to bars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Should we keep talking about this? <laughs> Yosef, I think a good intro to Leeds is Yosef said, these opening acts to Lady Doodle show are always great. <laughs> take it away ladies nice. all righty so uh i have to but i'm leaning towards this one the black and white ben this is the other option but i'm leaning towards black and white ben over baby ben so we have okay so black and white ben is the character they did on the show that it turns out is going to be on a television show that we're not allowed to know a lot about and usually when a show like, I was able to tell you guys about my movie because my movie doesn't matter. So <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell someone it's because it's a big deal. So uh, so that that could be a good option. But then there's also Baby Ben, which is how we knew him before he became this famous TV star. <laughs> <laughs> how it started versus how it's going. <laughs> 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 I love perfect. it. <laughs> that is perfect. I love it. Even though, even though, actually more accurate to my life since that character's in the past, and I have devolved into a person that does pacifier comedy. It's really reverse order. It's how, it started. <laughs> and how about how about you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about? <laughs> <laughs> um. So is it both of them or is it one of them? I do believe we're going with this one, right? All okay. right. Let's do it. Yep. So we had blind tips already. Ruth Sanchez, 60 bucks. Cassie Nolan, 75 bucks. Um, Annie Christ, $100. Patrick's hey, Antichrist. Patrick's at 150 So Patrick has got at 150 I, I got to say, this is the only show where I root for the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, season eight, Game of Thrones. Sorry. Two shows. <laughs> I was kind of rooting for him in Supernatural, but that was, I, was, I don't know. Part of my life. Every time, every time I go to church, I'm kind of rooting for, him, but I don't know about you. Guys. Well, yeah, because then church will end I also, Fiddler on the Roof, I rooted. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Antichrist, uh, and isn't that how the song goes? Never mind. That's for the musical theater people out there. Sure. <laughs> so I know that musical pretty good. I don't know what non-Jewish song you're Anna to Tavka, Anna Tavka, underfed, overworked. Whoa. So the black and white Benjamin, we had $100 um, from Annie Christ, and then Patrick Twister had 150 Anna Christ went to 200 and now Patrick's at 250 Okay. Nice. By the way, you can, uh, at Indiana University of Bloomington, you can major in Fiddler and Roof. <laughs> <laughs> at least that's how the folklore goes yeah. <laughs> all right so we're at 250, we're at 250. black and white band maybe we'll go 260 you know what i just realized i didn't realize this but i have a filter that makes your lips more red and it's picking up ben <laughs> oh my God. I, even I thought that was on the gone. picture no, no, it's not. not. I think I think I have some sort of weird filter on. <laughs> yeah, so look at Ben's yeah. look at Ben's sassy lips. I wonder if he'll marry. Wait, well, I figured it out, guys. Lips? Wait, oh, this, this is great. These haven't been your lips this whole time, lady. You've been doing fake lips on us this whole My time. My lips are gorgeous. <laughs> I'm saying, are those a filter all of a sudden that makes them red? Is that what you're telling me? No, I just turned it off. Oh, See, okay. look. But now I can turn it back on. <laughs> 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 That's very Annie Christ went to 275, but, but then Patrick went to 300. All and, right. the, and, and, and the point is, though, I do have very kissable lips, though, right? <laughs> and eyebrows. Those brows? Look at those brows. <laughs> Bring that into Christopher Walken. <laughs> I had no idea I had this power. 
Wow. That's cool. Hey, Lady, I don't know why you're messing around with lip filters. It's a little bit unprofessional. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> All right, we're 350 for Patrick. Did something else happen? <laughs> Great. So something happened in the chat because we're at 350 for Patrick. So I'm assuming the Antichrist. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, Antichrist went to 325. All so right. Patrick is watching on YouTube. Thank you, Patrick. The 350 high. Oh God, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you blew a leprechaun. <laughs> this is the first thing I'm doing when I get my vaccine. <laughs> oh no! I don't, I don't, I don't like this at all. This is the first time like my filter skills are are like are 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 handicapped, and I can't. And you guys are killing. I can't even find lips. I don't know how you're doing this. Antichrist went to 360. The Ooh. lists are built in on 70 for Patrick right away. Get it to All 420 right. because he's smoking. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? I want to do filters. <laughs> oh, go to, go to Studio Effects, Rachel, and it's in there. Is that a, a website? No. No, I'll, it's, it's on I'll Zoom. I'll teach you. <laughs> okay. Teach me. Thank you. I can uh, Rachel browse. We're at 370. Anybody got <laughs> anybody want to go higher than three? We're 370. 370 for black and white Ben. 370, which by the way, in 1930s. 420 for Patrick. 420. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 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 Uh, by the way, bear in mind that's a picture of Ben in the 30s. So that was worth even more back then. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. And bear in mind is also how you describe our most recent president. <laughs> 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 And, and his son. <laughs> so 420 to Patrick. Uh, Antichrist is out. So 420 going once. Woo! Going twice. Sold. For, is this Yay! how you do it? Ben? Yay! I can't. Oh. <laughs> well done, Patrick. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Patrick. We'll send that to you. There you are, Patrick. Time for the Patrick. game. <laughs> It's time for the game. Also, by the way, I realized I was like, oh, I need to shut the lip filter off. I'm like, nope, just that's my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the game today is what are some vaccination affirmations? No, like slogans. some slogans. Slogan to advertise the vaccine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. Uh, I only grabbed one unpaid uh, so far. So I'm going to Sala. The sooner COVID can stop, the sooner you can get that WAP. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, so video front row. Frankie Berman, start us off. So I got three. Um, it tastes better than bleach. <laughs> <laughs> it's immune to Jewish space lasers. <laughs> And have you seen Ben Glebe? Please get vaccinated. <laughs> oh my God. Damn. Um, I just have one. It's just a little prick. A lot of us had had those before and we've survived. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us have them currently and are surviving, so. <laughs> Hated. All right, I've got three. I have Johnson and Johnson. The vaccine's so nice, they named it twice. <laughs> nice. I have the COVID vaccine. Can you smell me now? Good. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I'm gonna get out of the way because you fuckers like to screenshot stuff. <laughs> Chris. That's my three. By the way, I just realized that uh if Hayden were a hater, he'd have the perfect first name. <laughs> Hayden hater. All right. So, yeah, I, I also took it as like brand slogan. So, I have uh, Pfizer. Bet you can't have just one. <laughs> uh, and then uh, for Toyota, um, Moderna. Let's finally fucking go places. <laughs> uh, and then I have the, uh, the quicker pricker upper. <laughs> nice. Cass. All right. Um, I have, unlike an ER visit, insurance will cover it. <laughs> <laughs> God gave us the problem. Science gave us the solution. 
Nice. <laughs> nice. Better than a ventilator. <laughs> and my favorite, shut up and shoot up. <laughs> <laughs> Marissa. Hi. I got one for free. Um, the first one is, don't be a prick, get pricked. <laughs> nice. Um, and the second one is, da -da 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 -da, I'm gabbing it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the third one is, take it, take it. <laughs> <laughs> Abby. Uh, so I have uh, Pfizer, now with new second generation microchips. <laughs> uh, vaccinations using belief in the scientific method to cull the herd <laughs> and vaccinate because you only get the inheritance if you outlive your parents Jack all right an uber to the testing site 10 bucks the vaccine is free, but finally getting to go out is priceless. Nice. <laughs> if you want to visit from Santa this Christmas, get the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> and the other reason to get the vaccine is watching Gwar on Zoom is not the same. <laughs> Great band, don't say okay. that. I just got this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Cold. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I've got a good to the last drop. <laughs> <laughs> have a pandemic break, have a shot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just do it, COVID yet. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, so just stick it to the vape. The vape. <laughs> uh, don't be unclean. Get your vaccine. <laughs> nice. And vaccinate before you date. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, who's next? Anne. Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I have three. Um, don't be a wuss if you want that puss. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do your part or be prepared to spread your cheeks apart. Get back to oh, God. <laughs> and pull your head out of your ass or make room for a swab in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Uh, I've got uh, just 15 minutes could prevent 15 days on a ventilator. <laughs> uh, don't uh, don't be the few, the ignorant, the unvaccinated. It's the main. <laughs> and one for the GQP. A G GQP. Don't let the Dems take away your rights. Get vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. Uh, I got. Johnson and Johnson, soft on baby's eyes, no more tears. <laughs> uh, the vaccine, better than Ben's campaign plan. God, shout out both of us. <laughs> and uh, live in a rough neighborhood, get shot before you get shot. Oh. <laughs> oh, John. Just right. uh, one. Uh, get these motherfucking shots in your motherfucking arms. <laughs> <laughs> Another civil cousin. Um, okay. Uh, shoot, I just blanked on what it was. Uh, the first one was um, sometimes a little prick is enough. <laughs> um, Thank then you. the other one was kind of like brill cream. Vaccines, a little jab will do ya. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> okay. Um, as a tribute to Dr. Seuss, one <laughs> prick, two prick, now you won't get sick. <laughs> <laughs> and then a musical one with a jingle, because those, those catch on. Um, hit me with your best shot, backs away. 
<laughs> sorry that you had to hear me singing. Um, Some of these would be actually very good. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, are you being avoided by everyone you know? It might not be your body odor. It might not be your bad breath. It might be the fact that you're not vaccinated. What's up with that? Get the damn shot. <laughs> Carl. So I've got three. Um, because only one good story started with a dead friend. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, old Mother Hubbard died of COVID. Get the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> and experience a prick twice during quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> that was too Carmel. All right, go ahead. Back, back. <laughs> Vaccines cause adults. <laughs> hey, vacay? J and J, okay? <laughs> Scenes. So we can see Steve in person. Please. <laughs> in Toronto. <laughs> nice. Wendy. I paid for an extra before I realized I could get into the front or front row today. So instead of Nancy Reagan's famous slogan. Just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, time to poke grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Vaccinate. It's your civil duty. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Yeah. Civil. <laughs> civil. <laughs> and finally, poke now. Fuck later. <laughs> who else in our front row wave your hand at me if you have matthew i just have one moderna we stab you or oj stabs you i think you want to go with us <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody else uh okay so these are the rest of them tam had another one take it or trake it Oh. <laughs> wow. That was good. Uh, Teresa Hagenkamp, embrace the poke. Uh, <laughs> Teresa, feeling stabby today? Vaccinate yourself and stay out of jail. <laughs> Jonathan S., your Republican uncle says if you get the shot, he's never talking to you again. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, ooh, COVID-19. It's everywhere you want to be. Back now. <laughs> Martin O'Neill, vaccines. Get yours now, or I swear to God, I will drown this puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's probably all it would take is one cute dog in a, in a, thing, a tub of water, and everyone will get vaccinated to save the dog. <laughs> Chris, Chrissy Jordan, don't be a prick. Get that stick. <laughs> nice. Christ, vaccines because you don't want to be that guy that killed grandma <laughs> <laughs> Gus Walsh I'm over Netflix and chill let's vaccine and convene <laughs> <laughs> Gus be like queen and get 18 vaccines <laughs> Curtis Mason stop procrastinating get to vaccinating get the vax ditch the mask <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Uh, Dave Adler, Johnson & Johnson vaccines, perfect for your FET life date. You get two Johnsons, needle play, a 69% efficiency, and all during a one-night stand. Get some. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Kathy, vaccinate, because Texas and Florida exist. <laughs> uh, Frankie Nataro, journeys don't stop vaccinating. <laughs> and that's all of them all right wow nice. that's a, a really good one um let's see i really like we're gonna stab you or oj's gonna stab you you're gonna you're gonna like us better i like that one a lot uh can you smell me no that's good uh was good um i really liked unlike the er visit uh the insurance will cover it but i think i gotta go with take it <laughs> <laughs> It's perfect with the show. Uh, Rach, what's your favorite? Two more just came in. Sorry. Dana, avoid the Darwin Award. Don't throw away your shots. <laughs> and I just got a message. Zara had one. It'll make her scream, poke me, just poke me, daddy. 
<laughs> in that light, I'm going to give it to take it. <laughs> nice. Man. Ooh, great ones. I got shut up and shoot up was amazing. Take it, take it was fantastic. Uh, good to the last drop. Don't let the Dems take away your rights. <laughs> so good from Brian. Take it or take it. But I give it a tie, but both from the same person to Abby with Pfizer now with new second generation microchips and using science to call the herd. I think that was fantastic. <laughs> Steve. All right. Normally, I would say to Ben, you cannot vote for two, but it doesn't matter because the math already made take it win. Um, because my vote, and there are so many great ones. Bet you can't have just one was great. Uh, the one about the inheritance was awesome. Um, my vote is actually take it or trake it. I think that I feel like that's when we would see on a billboard. Um, but that means the winner is take it. Take it. <laughs> claim your prize. Go to sdscshow.com. Shoot us an email and claim your prize. Thank you. Cool. Do you guys have any? No. Uh, I only have one. I have uh, four. Perfect. Steve, what's right. your one? Uh, Steve, go ahead. I'll just do my <laughs> one. Uh, Johnson and Johnson for your Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> my four are: Is it in you? <laughs> <laughs> You'll barely feel it. <laughs> this will be the best four seconds of your life. <laughs> and I understand if you want to leave and go outside now. I'm sorry, those were actually Bauer's sex slogans. <laughs> I was about to say, is that what you tell how you talk, talk Carmel into sex? Because they're not working. <laughs> now, that's what's on Ben's billboard. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Guess what? It's Ben. It's time to sing the song. Here we go. It is Lee Nee Doodle Time, Lee Doodle Time. It's time for Lee's Doodle Time. I can't rhyme. Time for doodles. I love uh, uh, my boo. <laughs> Wicka, 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 Very wicka. nice. By the way, Ben, there is someone in the front row who studied hip hop. I just want to point that out. <laughs> All right. I apologize. Have... French fries. <laughs> wow. Two rap albums. You know, it's one comedy album, two rap albums. Don't fuck with Ben's. I, I was in two rap groups and I have one rap video. You all can watch it on yeah, YouTube. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Fun Mountain. That He's was a man. fantastic advertisement for it. Sorry, go ahead, Lee. <laughs> I have a... Clogs are later, Ben. <laughs> Rachel, I feel your pain now. Thank you. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, I have... I think it might come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the next These are option. ninja stars. <laughs> it's, it's my mission in life to draw your hands progressively more fucked up every time. <laughs> Hey, we're going to do a new auction. If anybody wants to buy a picture of me caught in a thresher. <laughs> <laughs> then I have a... Uh, no, no, no. That's totally me. I'm super old. It's Bowers trying to buy <laughs> bifocals. And then uh, on that note, I have Bowers after buying bifocals. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have Ben's globe, which is uncalled for. It's just a little stained globe. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Sorry. It, to be fair, in the chat, once all of that was said, I said, be careful. I will draw that. And I did. It's like you came where like Titanic sank. <laughs> you wouldn't want me on the Titanic because I'd be drawing everyone's sad face as it was going down. And I have, hey, girl, you have AIDS because. <laughs> And then, uh, thanks to you guys, I tried out a little bit of digital things today, and we're seeing if the camera can pick it up. There you yes. go. There's steamed Hofstetter. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the very last one for today is the Scanna Sutra. Oh, we're demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> we'll zoom and in there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And also, uh, <laughs> Aiden just put in the in the chat. I bid twenty dollars for Lady not to send me the cum globe drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Pay me. Good for me. Uh, yeah, you can't have that in Ben's house. All his globes would be nervous. That'd be that fucker. That freak wall. <laughs> <laughs> At art for my heroes and LadyCorbin.com. All right, great. Uh, 
At, you can find me, as always, at Bowers Comedy. Uh, check out Origin Stories. Uh, ben, are you going to be, be there Wednesday, or you got a shooting thing? What do you got going on? I don't know the answer to that. Okay, so it's either going to be Ben, or we're going to get drunk with somebody else for St. Patrick's Day. So it's going to be fun on Origin Stories, 6 p.m. Pacific. Check that out. Ben, what you got coming up? Um, I have uh, tomorrow. It's Friday, right? Tomorrow is my <laughs> it's a G thing with Greg Proops and me. We do improv games, a ton of fun. Leedy draws it. It's a real blast. Jackie Cation is opening for us. Uh, special guest Jen Saunderson is hosting. Please do check that out. And if you, if you can't afford a ticket, uh, two of our generous audience members have donated some tickets we'll be giving away on a live stream. Proops and I are doing at 6 o'clock today on all my socials and Greg's Instagram. So check that out. You might win one. And, uh, yeah, just get a ticket at NowhereComedyClub.com. And the next clip off the top is the 20. 20- Seventh, I had to cancel the one on the twentieth for the shoot, but the twenty seventh <laughs> is the next off the top. So check that out. And get your tickets. Very cool, Steve. Uh, tonight I have my next director's commentary uh, with uh, Andrew Rivers is going to be on this one as well as Sam Norton. Two people have toured with me a ton, so I'm going to try to choose clips that they were there for. Uh, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun, and I get to tease Sam Norton about the time that a major league baseball player. Hit him in the nuts, and I'll tell that story <laughs> on the show. So uh, check out Director's Commentary. And also, uh, my live tour is back on starting in May. So please go to my website uh, for all the dates and get your tickets. Very cool. Rachel, anything you want to say before we get the audience out of here? Uh, so we had Cass uh, tip the show and said, for the host who can read, Ben not included. <laughs> uh, Renee Preslow didn't have a slogan, but she got her second shot today, or she got her shot today. So congrats! Nice. congrats. Nicely done. It is kind of funny, by the way, how we have three hosts who can't read and one host who can't write. <laughs> but he types read. super loud. He types so fucking loud it makes up for not being able to spell shit. <laughs> these hammers at the end of my thing. All right. uh, we also had Tam Brown said, "I don't think Elizabeth's degree sounds that odd. I took an entire humanities class based on The Simpsons." <laughs> I mean, they're definitely weird classes. I took a modern Western film class where we just watched movies and drank beer. You know what? You know what sucks about that Simpsons class when you do something that pisses off the professor, he just makes you write on the chalkboard a whole bunch of times. <laughs> Oh. Worst paper ever. <laughs> well, apparently, I forgot to introduce in the front row Elizabeth Sivalize Efferelli. Nailed it. And then, lastly, Rita O'Donnell took the show 10 bucks. She said she loves the show, and then it's a metal chick with a light lighter at a concert which is something i'm definitely going to do when it things open up but she's got a, a little kid or a little person on her back like <laughs> at a concert and that will be me so yeah that's it we've got our one year anniversary show on tuesday so make sure you hey, get front row tickets or just join the t- patreon for 10 bucks and you get two free run front row tickets so you can do it then too yeah cool. yeah very cool well thank you audience for being here we love you as always it's going to be one year on Tuesday. We've been doing this. Fucking How hell. Is that? One yeah. year. It's going to be a lot of fun on Tuesday. We're going to have a good show tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try to get real hungover, so Steve hates me. No, I'm not going to do that, Steve. But yeah. on Friday, we don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to try not to. But we got a show tomorrow, uh, so we'll see you guys tomorrow for that. Uh, anything you want to say before you get out of here, Rach? No, the takeover today was hilarious, and I love that we have this planning committee now that people uh, <laughs> do a bunch of shit, and it's hysterical. So. Oh, funny. Uh, so yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you Tuesday. Cool. And I guess last thing I'll say is, you know, they're, they're, I've seen a lot of cool stuff from the group recently about getting people to join the front row or whatever. If you're out there and you're watching passively, these people are that nice. It really is crazy how nice and inviting everyone is all the time. Um, so come join the party. Come be part of us. Be more active than you have been. If, if, you're, if you've been watching since the beginning, hey, Tuesday's a one-year anniversary. Make this the time you start. That'd be your, our, our one-year anniversary resolutions. Be on the show more. Anyway, I've had a great time today. We'll see you tomorrow, and I'm excited for Tuesday. See you guys. Excellent. And let me just say, uh, you guys were really wonderful with that game. Thank you so much, Vaccination Nation. I really <laughs> appreciate <laughs> Honestly, those slogan ideas were fantastic. I'm going to send this episode to the CDC, and they are going to say, <laughs> new fan, who this? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> My middle name is Nathan, which makes me Vaccine Nathan Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for being with us. So much fun. We will see you very soon. Uh, tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> How do you-